Today I'm going to tell you about an animal that you probably never heard of. And if you don't do anything about it, you and your future children probably never will hear about it again. The vaquita is a porpoise that is so critically endangered that there are only about 10 left. And you can protect them by donating to the vaquita fund on porpoise.org, pressuring Mexico's government to stop using gill nets like they said they would, and avoid buying any fish you know are bought from gill fishers in Mexico. The vaquita were discovered in 1958, and originally the numbers were around 600. Now the numbers are closer to 20 or 10. And without help, eventually they won't be here at all. The vaquita are the world's most endangered sea animal. And they're only going to keep dwindling. The vaquita need help. They can't save themselves. And at the rate their population is dropping, there's not much time. From 1958 to now, 600 versus 10. That's an incredible difference. There are steps you can take to help them, but you have to be willing to take them. You can donate to porpoise.org on the Save the Vaquita Fund. And if you can't do that, then you can share the link so someone else can. You can call Mexico's government and talk to their wildlife department about stopping gill fishing. The World Wildlife Fund talked to Mexico's department and they got a deal that they would stop using gill fishing, but they haven't. They still let people gill fish illegally and sell their products through that. We can't let this continue if we want to see this porpoise live to see another 10, 20 years. They could be gone before we know it. And once they're gone, there's no getting them back. It only takes a couple minutes of research to find out what places you're buying from buy from Mexico's gill fishers. And those minutes of research are worth it. You can spend a few minutes researching or you can spend the rest of your life never getting to see a vaquita and knowing that they are dying and going extinct. With your help though, these poor animals can stay around. But without your help, they're going to fall off the planet like the many other species that have over the years. The truth is, we used to have a lot more species on Earth, as you know. But through human endangerment of these species and pollution and littering and many other factors, including overfishing and deforestation, we've lost many animals and we don't need to lose another one. This isn't an issue with one species or even one group of species. It's with all of our animals on Earth, but the vaquita need your help more than almost any other animal right now. And this is something that happens to dozens of species every year. They start to go into extinction or they become critically endangered. And this isn't just a one-time thing. Think of your children. Think of what they would think if they knew that you didn't do everything that you could to save these animals. Children love animals. They love animals more than anything else, and children are pure of heart. And if they could, they would save the Paquita themselves. But they don't have that power, but you do. You have the power that one day your child can walk on an earth where they can go to the Gulf and see a Paquita swimming and know that that is not one of 10 Paquita, but one of 600, 700, 800. So please do your research and please find out where your food comes from. Besides the vaquita, there are plenty of other places that treat animals badly, that make it to where your food may be cheap and it may be good, but it's coming from somewhere that tortures animals. Even if you're not rich, just donate a dollar or two to porpoise.org. And if you can't, just share the website. Show other people the website. Someone is bound to see it and someone is bound to care and have the materials to help. Remember that nothing changes without someone else changing it. And that if that someone isn't you, it might be nobody. These animals need our help. And without them, the world is going to be a dimmer place. Just because you haven't heard of the animal doesn't mean that it's not important. And just because the animal is gone doesn't mean it won't be missed. So please, I endear you. Please think of the future of these animals the future of the earth, and the future of all animals. 
and please do what you can.